Hey guys, it's Kevin Kreider and I'm from The Ugly Model and Netflix's Bling Empire. I'm here because a lot of Asian guys have been reaching out to me asking me some dating advice and really I'm not the guy. That's not my expertise. But I know a guy that is his field and his name's JT Tran from ABC of Attraction. So I'm here and I'm gonna tell you the good, the bad, the ugly of the whole boot camp. I am not getting paid to say this or anything like this, so stay tuned. You're chilling. Keep it there. Day one was awesome. I'm not just saying that because JT is a friend. I really had very low expectations going into it. I thought the guys that were gonna come in were gonna be kind of like no personality, dry personality. And actually these were guys that I would normally just hang out, have coffee with. It was really great. My biggest takeaway that I got from day one is that rejection is part of the game. Be rejected and not letting it affect you. He actually coached people through rejection and helping them pick themselves up and so they can go back out there and do it again. Hi, hey, my name is JT. What's your name? Yes! Hey, what's your name? Yes! I don't get it. Why are you saying yes Keep after trying. each what rejection? Your instinct to be rejected. To bad. feel bad. Oh, you're replacing it. Yes. Got you're it. Changing your emotion from a negative state to a positive state. I understand. Hi, I'm Kevin. Yes! But you need to always look in the eyes, especially when you're controlling a group of girls. It's just these little small techniques that JT taught that made such a huge difference in their approach to women. So think about this. If I was to talk to a girl from this distance, what does it say about me? Bad breath or something. What about this? <laughs> That's too close, right? <laughs> but the keno turn distance, Arm length slightly bent. Hi. Hi. I'm Kevin. Hey. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. Stop yeah. looking at her boobs. I'm not looking at her boobs. <laughs> you look down at your hand, which makes it look like you're looking at it. Really? Yes. yes. Shit. Don't ever break eye contact. Okay. Again. Hi. Hi. I'm Kevin. Katie. You did it again. Did it. I did not. Hi. Hi. I'm Kevin. Katie. Nice to meet you. There you go. Yeah. 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 There you go. Yeah. What I also loved about everything was going into the field, as JT calls it, which is where the women are and the club action scene. I thought I'd be just like left alone, hanging out with the guys. It was seamless how they coached people and said, hey, go over there. There's two women by themselves. Get out of your comfort zone. And they instructed and helped you out along the way. And that's what I loved about it because they actually gave you attention, not instead of just throwing you out there. And they were reminding you about day one and all the things that they taught you. I'm so used to talking to Asian girls for the last five years. And today, I was hitting on and talking to my first white girl. I was practicing and riding on a bike for the first time, so I kind of got back into it, but I really appreciated him giving me that extra slap in the ass and saying, go out there and talk to her. He really has some good tips, and he makes you feel like you can really do it, which is awesome. My name's Kevin. My why is that I'm always committed to becoming better, no matter how good you think you are. It feels like you're really good at vibing and you kind of lean on that too, a little bit too much. Mm. One thing I would say is, I couldn't tell who you were into. Mm. You, you focused your attention a lot. When I was watching you, I was like, oh, was he into the white girl? Was he into the short Asian girl? I can't tell. I would say if you like it, someone, yeah. you know, and especially with women, focus on the girl you want. There's some things that I do naturally, for instance, when conversation stuff, but I will say that everything else was just so systematically in place and so many things that I didn't realize you have to think about in the beginning and then you unconsciously just do it. That's the goal and hopes for the boot camp. but I'm so glad that it's a 72 hour process for uh, the whole thing because there's no way I'd remember half of this stuff so I'm really glad there's people here to help you out with all of that stuff. Now JT is going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> He's like, I warned you. So I'm going to hurt your feelings. Do it. <laughs> you are already a confident guy, which is why like last night's infield, like you were selling yourself short. Like you could have 
performed so much better. Now part of it is like, it was the first time you talked to a white girl in like five years. Well, like in that way, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. So obviously that's outside of your comfort zone, but as one of the best looking guys in the venue, but that's the problem of being someone as good looking as you, it's very easy to get lazy. Have you talked to black girls, white girls, mm. Latinas, like the hottest girls there, you could get like, be type one of the rare guys you'd be like, you, you, like, you could like pick any girl. But problem is like, you know, it's that good looking guy syndrome, you know? You get these successes, so it's very easy for you to avoid anything that could cause you pain. But as you realize, you know, the rejections aren't that bad. No. Last night was my first infield with ABCs of Attraction in a club, a nightclub, which is totally out of my element. And I didn't realize how uncomfortable I was going to feel in a night setting like this. I thought I had pretty good game talking to random girls. I realized I don't have that much game talking to girls. I needed the coaching and help from JT and Jeff to be able to guide me and just show me how to approach women in a club setting because that's not my forte. And they actually helped me out and it was just inspiring to watch them just confidently approach just random beautiful women and to be able to talk to them effortlessly and seamlessly so I felt super comfortable once I got the advice from JT and his coaching staff with the nightclub scene I was able to get the numbers and to have a lot of fun with uh, girls that I'm not really used to I had this really beautiful blonde around and first of all to tell you that I was like I didn't really approach her because she looked a little bit standoffish and I was like oh she's probably like thinking she's way out of my league but then I got coaching and it turned out she wasn't so I really thought this was a great experience I totally see how this works so I thought I had pretty good game and inner game but this program taught me like there's always more to be done Day game infield, my reactions to it was, man, this is actually even more challenging than doing the club. When you're doing the day game, it's more challenging because there's no, all inhibitions are just full in effect because people are there for shopping, they're solo, the mix and match of the crowd. And I have to say that this was one of the most useful days for me because I live most of my day in the day anyway. And just the approaches are something that is oddly, you, you notice when you do talk to a girl, it actually works because when it does work, you realize, oh my God, there actually is like a system to talking to girls during the day. And the biggest thing that I learned is that sometimes when I talk to girls, I can overcomplicate things if I'm actually interested in them, which often misleads them into maybe like, maybe does he just want a friendship, which is probably what I come across as. And instead of just going for the friend route, I just go straight to the directness of my, my Pick up line is what they call it in the APCs of attractions. I would say since uh, the first time I saw you to now that I see a lot more control in your body language. I don't know if it's a confidence thing or the way you're co controlling yourself is a little goofy at first and now you're kind of a little more, it's just coming across like way more confident. And although you're tall, dark and handsome, I think that your attitude is really your best attribute. Mm -hmm. What I've seen over this weekend is more purpose, I think, when it comes to meeting women of whatever you know type that you want you know the beginning it was sort of like you know spinning your wheels kind of being friendly but no intent behind it mm -hmm. right here it does seem like you were successfully had intent romantic intent with the women that you were attracted to and i think that this is a good skill to have in every regard beyond just women because you're going to find that you know being able to read people situation is going to work for you in business, marketing, sales, you know, dealing with anybody and everybody. Just finished the final day of the boot camp, and my closing thoughts are first of all, amazing. I mean, I am not getting paid to say this or anything like this. It was literally me just going in with an open mind and thinking that this camp was going to be something where I could just 
go through it and tell people the good parts about it so other people would do this boot camp. But I truly believe I went in there with uh, an empty cup and I learned so many good, great things that I will carry on for the rest of my life. So I do very much highly recommend this, especially if you're an Asian guy. What I loved about JT's approach is that a lot of the stuff in personal development I've done in my whole life to inner game, he really takes everything that an Asian male has experienced in America growing up and the unconscious biases we might have or insecurities and he brings it up to the surface so you have to face with it. Now, I told you I'd give you the bad. There are some bad parts about this and it's only because of my own lifestyle. If you're not a late night person, it gets really tough to stay out late night. I only got like five or six hours of sleep a night. I needed to drink a lot of coffee. The boot camp is intensive. It can get a little too technical, but the thing is if you're a beginner or you just suck at dating, you're gonna need the techniques. So that's why I think it's a great approach for that as well. Sometimes what you think is they kind of push you to approach different situations, different times, different people, because it's a lot of practice they want you to do. And sometimes I think I was uncomfortable with some of the practices because it was like, ew, you know, like this is a lot of approaching all in one time and it's condensed, but they want to show you the best. Like every one of these coaches, the way they treated the other students in the camp were amazing. The first coach I want to give a review is Jeff. His coaching advice is super spot on. What I like about his approach is that he is honest and candid, but he doesn't go out there to hurt your feelings. Kate, the coach, she was wonderful. What I loved about her was she was always having something positive to say about you. What I really liked about her was that she had the girl's perspective and point of view of how you talk to and how you are presented. It was very honest and it's something that I needed to hear too, even though like it wasn't like sometimes news to me, but to hear from a girl, not just a guy during this boot camp setting was just awesome. What I really liked about Ozzy was he was the day guy and he was very much about just getting you out to practice. He was very detailed with his techniques. I really liked Ozzy's approach to everything. And he's more like me, where he likes to get up at five or six a.m. in the morning. He doesn't normally stay out super late, so he gets my lifestyle. So I felt like he was really speaking to me when he was coaching. That's what I learned from it, and that is totally the overall outcome that I got from this which changed my mind on even just dating coaching or dating seminars or boot camps and JT is totally changing the game for pickup culture because I think it's he's putting it in such a good positive way that is not sexist or, or misogynistic or toxic masculine, which I think a lot of people would associate with something like this. And it was the total opposite. It was teaching men to feel confident, empowered, and to personally develop themselves inside and outside, which I freaking love. That's why it's an A. And that's what I totally would recommend this class for anybody. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun infield pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check 